At the top level, there are basically two categories for errors. Those that the system can detect, sometimes called stop errors, and those that the system cannot detect, called functional errors. System detected errors will usually cause the CPU to go to the stop mode if there's no organization block protection. With functional errors, something doesn't work right, but the system cannot detect what it is, and the CPU does not stop. Let's now talk about functional errors. Some examples of these are logical errors in the programming code. For example, using a normally open contact where a normally closed contact should have been used. Supplying the wrong value to a timer. Writing to an output or memory bit more than once, or wiring mistakes that were made in the field. All of these will cause the system to operate incorrectly, but the PLC is not able to detect the problem. Some tools used for troubleshooting functional errors are the variable table, monitoring code blocks, and the cross-reference tables. You can right-click on the blocks folder to create a variable table, or if there is already one in your project, double-click to open it. In the variable table, you can monitor bits, bytes, words, and double words for inputs, outputs, memories, or data blocks. To monitor a code block, highlight the blocks folder and then double click on a block. Then turn the monitoring glasses on. To open the cross-reference tables from the programming editor or from Somatic Manager, open the options menu. Choose reference data and display. You may see a message asking if the reference data should be updated. Choose Yes. By default, a window opens asking you which of the five reference tools you want to use. Cross-references shows every address and where it is used in the code. Assignments show what inputs, outputs, memories, timers, and counters are used in the code. Program structure shows block call structure beginning from the organization block down. Unused symbols show symbol names which have been created but are not used in the code, and addresses without symbols shows addresses that are used but do not have symbol names. Select a tool such as cross-references and click OK. There are videos which show in detail how to use all of the tools mentioned in this video. This concludes Introduction to Errors.